Hey everybody, Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, today we've got another um, installation, installment, we'll call it, of uh, the Ademco Lynx or SafeWatch Quick Connect. Today we're going to be installing a 5800 carbon monoxide detector. This one's not the cleanest one in the world, but it does work. Um, so, as with all of these Ademco panels, the only way that you can do any uh, installing or changing codes or anything like that is you have to have the, the uh, installer code. If you don't have the installer code for your panel, I have videos out there on several different panel styles that you can basically jailbreak the alarm system and get the installer code out of it so that you can have control and uh, program things into the system you know change codes change master code change installer code um, add contacts add smoke detectors add carbon monoxide detectors so on and so forth so anyways before you can do any of this you've got to know what your installer code is for the alarm system all right so now um, the other thing about carbon monoxide detectors is they do expire. Whereas smoke detectors really don't expire as long as you keep them clean, unless your smoke detectors are what they call ionization smoke detectors. You have photoelectric, which will last for a long, long time as long as you keep them clean. But ionization smoke detectors need to be re replaced every 10 years or uh, sent out to a qualified um, lab to be tested to see if they even work anymore because ionization uh, smoke detectors actually have a small chip of radiation in the chamber and what that radiation does is it it actually senses the density of the air it's not photo like a photoelectric that's just a photo beam going across and when the smoke you know uh, goes across the beam it sets the alarm off the ionization once has that radiation chip and it actually senses the density of the air to see if there's any smoke in the air or not so that's what the difference between a photoelectric smoke and an ionization are so again ionizations need to be replaced every 10 years photoelectric smoke detectors are are good for a good long time as long as you keep them clean now Carbon monoxide detectors do expire and need to be thrown away. You can't even send these out to a lab to be recalibrated. They just, um, the radiation in these just deplete and it's gone. And I'm going to show you a quality, a quality um, carbon monoxide detector will have an expiration date on this one. And this one here is uh, June of 2029. So I've got another good six years or, or say five years now on this one okay so you really got to check on your carbon monoxide detectors because they do expire now the placement of carbon monoxide detectors a lot of people they i seen them on the ceilings and stuff like that that is wrong carbon monoxide um kind of like just floats in the center of the airspace so say that you're your uh, room is eight feet high that carbon monoxide is going to linger somewhere around anywhere between three to five feet it won't go to the floor and it won't go up um, because of what is called stratus stratification all right because carbon monoxide is lighter in air but it's less dense than air so it can't really um penetrate um actual uh, what am i looking for not air um not CO2, um, anyways, oxygen or something. Yeah, that's what makes the carbon monoxide just float between those two areas, okay? Um, so the, the best practice for carbon monoxide detectors is to mount them at nose height, say about five feet. Um, you could actually go down to three feet too in a, in a sleeping area. Um, but five feet is ideal and you should put one carbon monoxide detector outside of well not outside of each uh, sleeping area but within 10 feet of each sleeping area so that if the carbon monoxide detector does go off it'll wake up the occupant 
All right, so with that said, let's get right into uh, programming this carbon monoxide detector into um, your Ademco Lynx, a.k.a. Um, the ADT SafeWatch Quick Connect. Again, guys, this is you ADT users out there. This is the exact panel if you have a Quick Connect. Your Quick Connect has rounded corners. All right, that's a Quick Connect, but it's the same exact program in here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch my monitor around. So now you should be able to see the, uh, the, the camera over here on the left-hand side, and this is the programming right here. So now I'm going to put my, my carbon monoxide detector on uh, zone 10. So let's go with zone 10. Okay, guys. Now, let's uh, go ahead and let's get this uh, 5800 CO programmed into the system. So let me just check, uh, switch pages for you here. And then see if this is the right page. Yep, there we are. Okay, so um, again, you gotta have the installer code to get into the system to program um, anything or deprogram anything. You gotta have the installer code and you can, uh, Search my videos, and I do have uh, installer code retrieval videos out there. Just um, look up DIY Electronics and then put in the installer code, and you'll see all my videos on that. So, anyways, the first thing you got to do is you got to go into program. So, let's go 4321800. You wait for the 20 to show up. All right. Now, right here. Okay, it says star 56 for enhanced zone programming. So you hit star 56. Now, I wanted to put my carbon monoxide detector in zone 10. So right here, it says A02. That's, it's basically telling you pick your zone number. So I want 10. And then right down here, it says press star. And that'll switch you to the next uh, position that you have to program B so B is the zone type and mine is going to be right here carbon monoxide so I'm going to hit one four C that is the communication path or report code we're going to leave that alone don't touch it just hit the star D that is your zone input type and ours is going to be a, a three. And you always leave this as a three unless you're programming a key fob. Everything else is a three except for a key fob. So leave that alone. E1, we're no, we can't use this type of enrollment on a life safety device. So you just hit star and go right by it. 1A. So let's go down to 1A in our program. Okay, 1A, it says you have to hit the number 1 to enter the serial number. That's how you have to, that's how you have to do it for life safety devices. So we're going to hit 1. It comes up 1B. Go down here to 1B. It says now you enter in the uh, seven-digit serial number. So your seven-digit serial number is right on the back of all of your devices. And this one's 045. 045-1447-1447 and you hit the star it comes up to 1AL okay so now all you have to do from here is just get out of program so hit star star until you get to the next zone which is 11 now remember I put mine in 10 you just hit star star twice it will say the next zone, and all you have to do is hit 00, zero and then star 99 nine to get out of program. All right. So now, re remember, put the base back on your, your detector. All right. So now, you're ready to try it. Let's see what it does. Now we push the little test button here. There we go. Let me shut it off. One, two, three, four, off. Disarmed. Check. System. Ready to arm. All right. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to keep on saying uh, the alarm until you 
One, two, three, four, away, and then you Arm disarm. Arm, away, exit now. Whoops. One, two, three, Arm, four. Arm, oh, exit now. Disarmed. Check. System. Ready to arm. Now, the check system is the low battery. Now, what I did was, after the carbon monoxide tripped, I punched in the, the code and off once. That shuts off the siren. Then, the only way to clear that out is you actually have to arm the system to a way and then disarm the system um, by hitting off. Let me just walk you through that again. Because it does, I mean, with all the sirens and else going on, you probably can't really hear me too good. So let me do it again. So again, when it goes off, I'm going to hit the code and off once. That'll shut the siren off. Then I'm going to arm the system to away, and then I'm going to disarm the system, and that'll clear the alarm out. So your code and off. Disarmed. Check. System. Ready to arm. Now, if you notice, the alarm is still there. Now, to clear the alarm out, one, two, three, whoops, one, two, three, four, away, and then disarm it. See, it's still there. Arm, one, two, three, away, four, exit off. now. Disarm. Check. System. Ready to arm. Again, that check system is just my low battery. Okay, guys. So that, in a nutshell, is how you program a 5800 CO detector. And if you go and you buy these off of eBay, demand, I mean demand. Okay, let me just, I just went into trouble. Disarm, check, system, ready to arm. You demand that they tell you what the replacement date is because there's a lot of scrupulous guys out there on eBay that are selling the outdated carbon monoxide detectors and passing them off as brand new. What they'll actually do is they'll take the sticker and rip it off. If that sticker is gone, do not buy it. All right, guys. So let me just clear that again. One, two, three, four, away. One, two, three, four, Armed. Off. away. Exit now. Disarmed. Check. System. Ready to arm. All right, guys. I know that was a lot to ingest. But uh, any questions, comments, leave it down below. Um, uh, like and subscribe and ring the bell is always appreciated. And again, if you want to know any, how to do anything on this Ademco Links or the SafeWatch Quick Connect, leave me a uh, comment down below and I'll push that to the top of the stack and I'll make a video about it. Thanks for watching, guys.